Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the new NVIDIA driver version 466.63. It was just released earlier today, and I've been doing some testing on my system using VR. The intention of this video is to share my settings and just show you some demonstrations of the flights in VR using the new driver. I found out that this driver is aimed towards the 3000 series cards, but 2000 series cards may benefit too. It just depends on how your system works with it. Here you can see the driver version 466.63. Here are my 3D settings in the NVIDIA control panel. I've made a few changes in bold. I've got the hag set to off. Game mode switched off. My OpenXR settings are 70% custom render scale and motion reprojection always on. The runtime version is 107.2106.1002. This is the newest version of the OpenXR developer tool. Here are my in game VR graphic settings. I have made some adjustments here. So here we are in the Cessna Citation Longitude, flying over LA. I'm flying really close to the buildings just to show you how consistently smooth the performance is right over the city here. Now you can see the frame rate is around 20, 21, 22, down to 19. But with the motion reprojection working, it doesn't have any effect at all. So what I'm getting is a consistently smooth experience, even in the Citation in a big city like LA. So far so good, the driver is performing really well with my card. The lighting and the clouds look really clear. The main thing I'm really happy about is the smoothness and clarity of everything. Here we are with the second demo, flying over Bari in Italy. I'm flying low on purpose so you can see how smooth and clear this is as well. Even at 22 FPS, slightly higher than LA, it's still very, very good performance. I'm going really close to this photogrammetry area as well. You can see the buildings do have that melting effect on them, which still bothers me. Passing by of the buildings, there's no stuttering at all. I'm really, really pleased with the performance. The motion reprojection is working wonders. And I'm not getting any artifacts. Everything's clear. I hope this video gives you some idea of the new driver and the driver settings in VR and hopefully it'll help you set yourselves up with the new driver in place if you choose to update. To conclude, I'm glad I've got the new driver. I'm not sure if it makes a big difference or not. It seems to run really well with my system so I'm going to keep going and using it for a while and see how it goes. As always guys, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content and I look forward to making the next video soon. In the meantime, take care, stay safe.